In this video, I'll be checking out the first two collected editions for this past year's major DC event, Dark Knight's Metal. What's going on everybody, this is Alex and I'm back once again with another collected editions review. This week is another huge one for DC. Not only on the single issue front with Justice League issue 1 dropping, but we also get the oversized hardcover for Dark Knight's Metal. I know there are a significant amount of readers out there that prefer to wait and read these events in a nicely collected hardcover. In my opinion, the main reason for this is due to how a series can easily take a nosedive in its momentum due to significant delays on a book even though the writing and artist team are perfectly executing every single issue. For example, when I rocked up to the local comic book store to pick up issue 5 of Doomsday Clock, it felt like several decades had passed since the last issue dropped. Everyone thought you were dead. Thankfully, Metal never suffered from this as the DC team of writers and artists managed to give readers something every other week whether it's from the main series, one-shots or tie-ins. This video will cover the first two collected editions, Dark Days The Road to Metal Hardcover and the Deluxe Edition Oversized Hardcover of Dark Knight's Metal. So let's get right into it. First up, we have Dark Days The Road To Metal which as the name implies is the prelude to the main series. What it collects is the following two one-shots, Dark Days The Forge and Dark Days The Casting, plus additional background reading material which the Metal series draws references from. This includes Final Crisis Issues 6 and 7, The Return of Bruce Wayne Part 1, Batman Endgame which was from Issues 38-39, Nightwing Issues 17, Extract from Detective Comics 950 and the Multiversity Guidebook from Issue 1. As for the build quality, the team did an absolutely stunning job putting this together. They did not cheap out by giving us just a standard glossy dust jacket but went all out with a foil embossed cover. Taking the dust jacket off, I thought we would get the matte black cardboard but it's actually wrapped which was extremely thoughtful. I hope the DC team continues doing this for all their standard hardcovers even if it doesn't have any additional wraparound art. In regards to the binding, no complaints here nor can I see any visible gutter loss that would interfere with the reader. For the extras, unfortunately nothing here but I can imagine if DC added the director's cut of the forge, it would add some significant cost to the book and it would be best saved for a possible future omnibus or better yet an absolute edition. Now for the main release. This oversized hardcover purely collects Dark Knight's metal issues 1-6 to with an introduction by Scott Snyder. Reading this back to back again, I can definitely tell you that the reading experience has definitely improved especially with this in Capullo's art in a more oversized form. I can honestly say this is a great way to reread the series compared to diving back into your short or long box. Looking at the build quality, we get another stunning foil embossed dust jacket and taking it off, we get a crispy metal foil imprint on the front and on the spine. Unfortunately, it is not wrapped like the standard hardcover so we get the black fingerprints. With the binding, nobody should be complaining here, solid on all counts and no scene gutter loss. As for the extras, we get a cover gallery showcasing all the standard variants from each of the 6 issues as well as Greg Capullo's sketchbook and pencils from issue 1. Overall, a great buy and I can highly recommend this book. Oh, and if you're wondering with this metal statue based on Greg Capullo's Midnight Release variant cover of Metal Issue 1, this was part of the DC Collectibles Designer Series line which was sculpted by the awesome Jonathan Matthews and is limited to 5000 pieces. Many thanks to Hank from Bulletproof Comics for supplying this amazing piece. Now to give my final thoughts on these releases. The DC team have produced solid additions so far giving us a well put together release for the prelude of the main metal series as well as additional background material prepping the reader for the oversized hardcover which focuses only on the main series. Absolutely no detours here with tie-ins or other one-shots with the deluxe edition. 
What's next in terms of the metal releases? We'll be getting a standard hardcover of all the Nightmare Batman one-shots as well as a trade paperback that collects the Resistance and the Bats Out of Hell crossovers as well as a Hawkman Found and Batman Lost one-shots. I find it strange why this is solicited as a trade and we didn't get a hardcover here, but I'll take what I can get. So there you have it, off to a great start with the very first collected editions of metal. Will these additions suffice your appetite or will you be waiting till 2019 or even 2020 for an Omnibus or Absolute Edition? Let me know in the comments below. Again, many thanks for your support and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me. This is Alex and I'll catch you in the next video.